So in this presentation, we're going to be discussing why mill time matters and why it's important. Now, most of my regulars will know that I generally mill my powder for 24 hours. All of the tests until quite recently, all the powders we've done were milled for 24 hours. Now, typically I get questions about clumping. Every 12 hours or so, I turn off the mill, I put it through a screen, I take all the powder out of it, I put it through a sieve, I put it back in the mill and mill it for another 12 hours. So for those of you that are worried about the clumping thing, I live in the Southwest. We don't have a lot of humidity around here like folks that live back east and down south and all of that. So humidity is not that much of an issue for me. Uh, is any of that really important? Is that relevant to what we're talking about? In the last couple videos, we've started experimenting with milling our powder longer and have found, generally speaking, the longer you mill your powder, the better it performs. The first time we tried this was with bamboo powder. We milled it for 24 hours, was not impressive. We did another batch where we milled it for 72 hours and it went from unimpressive to very impressive and was just a little bit slower than Swiss. We also tried it with mixed powder. We tried this with cottonwood and balsa. Now, that we milled for 30 hours. Again, typically I mill stuff for 24. And that was basically Swiss black powder. It was comparable to Swiss in every regard. It was excellent, excellent powder. But to be fair, balsa makes excellent, excellent powder. So what we decided to do here, again, to test our mill time theory, was we decided to try cottonwood again. Now, for those of you that watched the first Cottonwood video, you remember it went, I think, 625 out of the Killer Southern Mountain Rifle with 50 grains of 3F440 Hornady Swaged Ball and a 20 thousandths pillow ticking patch. All of my tests are done just like that. So, what we decided to do is mill it for another 24 hours. Now, this is a fresh batch but it's the same charcoal. It's charred in our pyrolysizer, which are, is our electric kiln that we use to make charcoal. The ratio is still 77.13.10, although we're gonna start tweaking the ratios a little bit to see if we can't uh, get any change there, which is something coming up in the near future. But as for this batch, it's 77.13.10, cottonwood made in the pyrolysizer, milled for 48 hours using brass media. So here's how it went. <laughs> All right, so this is 48 hour cottonwood. Damn. These are Holy. 18? 1809. Holy shit. Mm. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's do another two. Yeah, that's 50 grains. No way. Ah, yeah, don't get too excited. I know, it could be an outlier, but. You never can tell. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, shot number two with the 48 hour mill cottonwood. Yeah. 1808, you dirty rotten scoundrel. The other one was 1809. Oh, it was? Yeah. Within one? That's consistent. Uh, hang on, let's, let's give it enough chances to <laughs> All right, ready? Shot number three. All right. Eighteen thirty-two. No way. This stuff beats the cottonelle. All right, one more. One more, and then swab it. We'll one, see. One more. One more. We got to see how clean it is. See how that toilet paper works. That is kick-ass. <laughs> Man, this this right here, this right here proves that 24 hours is good, but 48 and 72 is better. Well, yeah, because the uh, the last stuff we did, the mix powder was 30 hours. Yeah, and, and that's not this good. No, you mean mill time? You made it and it's seasoned in that amount of time. No, milling it milling. for that long. Milling. It. Yeah, putting it in the ball mill and milling it for 48. The machine. At work. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Back in the day. 
same, same way. way. Just but water powered instead. They'd, they'd have their mills right next to a stream. Right. Wow. Okay, shot number four with the 48 hour cottonwood. Eight. 1847. No. Sorry, Derek, I broke your chain. Damn it. Oh, man. What happened? I broke the chain. Oh, man. Now I got to weld the. That's okay. I like. This is the most powerful oh, black gosh. powder we've ever made. This right here. Yeah, that's the fastest stuff we've made. And I it's. You just get out and hold it. <laughs> is that smart is that darwin <laughs> that's darwin <laughs> putting in my uh putting in my application application, application for, for a darwin, darwin award, award. <laughs> why'd you hit the chain yeah what the f man you were aiming for the chain right? <laughs> okay so this is our 48 hour mill cottonwood powder but if our calculations are correct, is the most powerful powder that we have ever made. Being in the low 1800s, which of course qualifies for the paper target. So we're about, I think 37, 38 yards at the tree here, right? Something like that, 40, so I think. We'll, uh, we'll round up a couple, let's say 40, and we'll see how it does. I see the heat waves coming off my barrel. <laughs> that's not good. Well, I can see that shot. That's that's bitching. You see it? Nope. I can. I'm just gonna aim in the same spot for the next three or four shots. All right. Well, let's do three. That way we get the usual four shot comparison because we got we still got to swap it yeah we were so excited about how powerful it was we neglected to press play when we were swabbing the barrel yeah, that that was my fault that's all right boss get up to anybody Another good one. Man, remember back in the fall and the winter time when it was nice and cool? And we'd come out in sweatshirts. That yeah, was nice. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Oh, I see that one. Yeah, that's a good group. One more. Yeah, one more.
nice. You like it? I do. Mm-hmm. All right, now before we go look at that, let's swab this and not forget to film it. See how it looks. Tommy's sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Man, a little crunchy, but not horrible at all. I'd say that's comparable to Swiss. Not as clean as the balsa, but nothing ever is. And even when we did the 50-50 powder with cottonwood and balsa, it still was cleaner than that, Man. but not as powerful. This stuff is more powerful by, I don't know what, 50 feet per second or so? Something like that, 75, the other, I the think. The other stuff was seven, 75, seven, seven. Yeah, it was 770 or 780, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. I would take that all day long. Those Confederates, I didn't give them enough credit at first. Got the first batch of cottonwood. Wow, that's bitching. All right, let's go have a look at our target, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Eh, I've had better. Man, ugh, wonder what, wonder which one that one was. That's not horrible though. I've yeah. had better but at least it's something. All in the nine ring, solid in the nine. Yeah, that's good. You know what, I think, I wonder if I'd do better if I backed it down five grains. Oh yeah, I because wonder, yeah. you're used to shooting stuff that's going 17 oh, and change, yeah. not 18. Yeah, that averages, you know, 17, 70. Eh, okay. This is the most powerful black powder that we have made to date. This is faster than alder buckthorn, and it's faster than cottonelle. The cottonelle, if I remember right, averaged right around 1,800 feet per second. This powder averaged 1,824 feet per second with a max spread of 39, delivering 960 foot-pounds of energy. Now, if you remember the first cottonwood batch, that was 24-hour mill, that averaged 1625 with a max spread of 36. So by doubling the mill time, we have picked up 200 feet per second in velocity, which is huge. Now, the last time I saw that amount of increase was the bamboo. But the bamboo we ran for 72 hours, where the cottonwood we ran for 48. So I wonder if maybe after 48 hours, maybe that's the diminishing return. I guess I have a I have plenty of bamboo charcoal. If you guys want to see bamboo at 48 hours just to see how it compares, I could do that. Let me know. Personally, I'm a little over the whole bamboo thing, especially after seeing how the cottonwood performed at 48 hours because this stuff is bitchin'. It's more powerful than Swiss. Has a nice tight spread and it's just as clean. Now, I did shoot the paper target, and definitely not my best shooting. It's pretty warm around here nowadays, and I had the, the mirage coming off of my barrel and just didn't group very good. But I wonder if maybe if I dropped my powder charge five or maybe even 10 grains, if that wouldn't have tightened up a little bit. Either way, not my best shooting. Uh, definitely worth 
more paper targets, though, based on the performance, velocity, and cleanliness. So don't judge it too hard because I wasn't having a good day shooting. So pretty much the same conclusion as the last two videos where we increased the mill time. There's no such thing as milling your powder too long. It only gets better. And I think what this shows is you can take a mediocre carbon source and mill it for twice as long, 48 hours, and get damn good powder. But I wonder if we use Cottonelle or Alder Buckthorn and mill it for 48 hours, I wonder what we'll get then, because that's a damn good carbon source that gives us good performance at 24 hours. So I reckon we'll probably be trying that next. So as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.